What's up, you guys? It's Riley here with Learn With Me, and this is going to be my August uh, 2024 uh, garden update. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, as you can see, the garden has taken a great, a great leap since the last time you've seen it. Of course, as you can see here, I've already harvested one batch of sweet potatoes. Got some sweet potatoes right here as well. Got some tomato plants going, doing pretty well. See that? Got some peas that are taking over. See, look at that. I'm gonna say I had some more. Oh yeah, here's some right here. And uh, this is a plant called Wandering Jew. This is my elderberry plant right here. I'm going to plant this in the ground here soon. Here's another sweet potato vine kind of coming over right here. The leaves are great for uh, uh, as a uh, substitute for spinach. Got some plants down here. This, this is a, what you would consider a radish. This is a lavender plant that I have started down here. Another sweet potato vine, some yarrow. This is a dead lettuce plant. Uh, probably towards the end of the season, I'm going to cut it back. But as you can see, it's already gone to seed. This is kind of a, a different mint and spearmint pasture right here. It smells wonderful. Like, apparently, I'm just getting numb to the smell of mint over here because I had someone walk back here and they just just were just overjoyed with how like much it smelled. And they just were like, wow, it just smells so nice over here. All right, you guys, check this out. So it looks like my sweet potato vines over here are actually producing flowers. Very similar to morning glories. They are actually... Uh, I, I want to say they produce flowers towards the end of their cycle when they have really produced them, when they're really uh, ready to produce. But if you guys have any uh, more information, please let me know. I'll try to include some more in the video just to let you guys know what I'm thinking about it as well. Of course, this is my Roma tomato plant. I've harvested a lot of tomatoes on here, to be honest with you. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one off so I can go ahead and take that from any pest that might want to take uh taking a bite out of any of these also if you guys know what happens that causes like this dark spot on the bottom of my tomatoes please let me know i also got some uh scarlet sage right here which has like beautiful red blooms that but the red blooms have gone away now got another uh cherry tomato plant right here it's doing pretty well I'm going to be honest with you, you guys, a lot of these tomato plants that I've grown, they have started from just me gathering plants for my compost. Like this year, I was like, I'm not going to actually invest time in it because every time I invest time in, in trying to grow a specific plant or anything, it just never works out. So uh, there's some that I want to dedicate special amounts of time to, but right now when it comes to the tomatoes i haven't invested much time in them and they have turned out good despite the odds it's kind of like my luck with lavender and as you guys can see this is my lavender plant right here and what i mean by my luck with lavender is that whenever i try to actively grow lavender it always almost or at least almost always dies got some grapevines over here too oh look Got some tomato, my tomato plant. I got some stuff that I want to harvest. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. Look at that. Just because I want to go ahead and get started, get those going. I don't, like I told you, I don't want to have to share it with the pest. Got my blackberry plant here. Oh, look at that. We got some blackberries. How cool is that? All right, so we got, we got a pretty good harvest here. Also, another quick segue. This is my lemon balm plant. This is looking awesome and it smells amazing. If you guys haven't checked out my video on lemon balm, 
you guys should definitely check it out for some of its benefits and some of the other things that I've talked about when it comes to it. Here's a patch of oregano that I have too. Of course, this smells amazing also. Here's another lemon balm plant. Here's another mint plant. Here's my spearmint. My oregano. More spearmint. Actually, this is peppermint. Sorry for the confusion. More spearmint, spearmint. This stuff's starting to die back because it's kind of drying out the spots over here. That's the rest of my spearmint. Here's some anise hyssop too. Isn't this lovely? Back over here, you'll have some cucumber vines that I was kind of showing you guys before. Of course, it got some more sweet potato vines and got some regular peas. I want to say these are regular. No, I think these are purple hole peas because you can see some down here that are actual purple hole peas as well. This right here is a fig tree that I'm trying to get growing and it's surviving despite my, despite the odds. Kind of like how this raspberry plant right here is surviving despite the odds. Hopefully if I can plant it in the ground here soon, it'll start to do better, but I'm honestly not sure. Here's some comfrey that I've been try struggling to keep alive as well. Here's some ginger right here that I'm growing. That's growing in the same bed as some of the sweet potatoes that I'm growing. My peas and sweet potatoes are actually growing in this bed over here. Sorry to be all over the place, but just trying to cover as much real estate in this video as I can. Got some spinach right here, just looking wonderful. I want to say this is a type of hibiscus. I want to say it's mallow, but I'll try to put the caption in the video. Uh, well, at least put it on the, the frame of the video when I post this. This right here is my lovely turmeric plant. This has probably been my founding success right here in regards to like root crops this year. I didn't think I could get turmeric to grow this well, and it is like it's practically about maybe four and a half, five feet tall. And it is awesome. You see how big these leaves are? This right here is are my four o'clocks. These plants are doing great. Uh, and as you can see, there's some pink ones, but lately I've been getting some yellow ones from this plant that I had from last year. Isn't that awesome, you guys? Here's some sage growing right here also. Here's a swamp sunflower that I'm growing. Another sweet potato plant that I have growing right here. You guys know I'm going nuts with this stuff. Another wandering Jew plant. Of course, got some more sweet potato vines. And sorry for the mess in the garden, you guys. I am just surviving here. And I'm trying to do my best to just kind of make this stuff work. And like I told you, I'm trying to show you guys that I can make a garden work while having a kid, run, having a family, and just trying to just make everything fit together. I'm not trying to necessarily have too complicated a, of a garden or anything that I necessarily have to maintain too much. Got another elderberry plant growing right here. Got some peas growing right here as well. It looks like it's overrun my bed of, uh, of pineapple mint. Well, not pineapple mint, but apple mint. Hopefully I still have some of that left over, but it typically can survive because you know it's mint still trying to get that fully organized but like i told you i'm kind of busy and i'm all over the place so hopefully next year or during the winter i'll be able to really get that going here's my four o'clocks over here this has been a lovely little area as far as uh housing just lovely little pink flowers if you guys haven't seen any of my shorts with those in there please let me know and i will send you a link to them this right here is my fantastic compost bin. Been adding a ton of apples and I mean not apples, but pears and stuff to it. So this has been pretty awesome to try to transition and it has been really picking up steam literally as of late. Right here we got some strawberries that I have growing. We also have some 
variegated oregano. It's also some lettuce right here. Got some sweet potatoes growing in here too. Some, some more sage and uh, variegated oregano. And these are some sedums right here. I believe they're Autumn Joy. This lackluster area over here is where I have my yarrow, my wood bedney. These are the leaves of the wood bedney like you've seen in the last videos. Some wood worm, I mean some wormwood, <laughs> of course, wormwood. Got a rose plant right there. Got one right here as well. That right there is the start of a uh, blackberry bush that I thought I had killed. And of course, in case you couldn't see it earlier, this was the rose bush that I was talking about. This is my passion fruit vine. Hopefully I can get a fruit this year, but probably won't. Really just establishing it for next year. And here's my asparagus. Lastly, you guys, this is my pear tree. There's not as many pears on it right now, but that's because they're either on the stinking ground because of all the dang squirrels and bugs and birds and stuff like that, or I've, I've tried to pick as many of them as I can. I mean, it's not as easy as you would think it would be. Just coming out here and picking 20 to 30 a day. Woo! It's got rain down a bit. Yeah, it just got through raining, but boy is it worth it and last but not least these are my swamp sunflowers they're getting pretty tall you guys it's gonna be pretty exciting to see them come out this year can't wait to make that video as uh, that was a very popular video last time i made it also planted some mint down here to kind of go down there with it but yeah you guys uh if you guys want to see anything else please let me know if you want any specialized videos for anything that i'm growing right now please let me know as I will, I'm trying to make a lot of specialized videos for anything that uh, people aren't putting too much content out for. And I'm trying to just, you know, fill in uh, some of the gaps of what you guys know and what you guys don't know. So uh, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week. Uh, sorry about the delay that I have with a lot of stuff that I've been doing lately, but if you guys have any other questions or anything, please let me know. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. If you could just share the video, the sh if you don't do anything else, sharing the video does a lot for me and really gets the word out about my content. And if you guys have any corrections or anything about my videos that you want me to improve, please let me know like that. And that's to the five people that are still watching at this point in the video. Please let me know as I'm trying to like really improve how I am at, like how I'm producing content, trying to improve my public speaking. And I'm really trying to, you know, improve the world and make it a better place. So I will see you guys later and uh, you guys have a wonderful day and stay breezy. And if you guys need to, uh, any of the links to any of my like newsletters, of course, those are on different topics and stuff like that. Any of my newsletters, uh, my TikTok or anything, that's going to be in a campsite uh, link in my bio, uh, well, description and bio. But yeah, see you guys soon.